Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a DJI Mini 2. Came in with a cracked top shell. Um, during that crash or whatever happened, looked like their battery cover came off as well. So we're going to go ahead and replace that for them. It's a fairly simple repair. It's only held in with a couple of screws. Um, the only tools you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver and um, possibly a plastic spudger, but a flathead screwdriver will do the same thing. So uh, it's not necessary to take the gimbal guard off in this case. So uh, just open your arms up, get the drone open. And then there's going to be two screws uh, by both front arms, two screws by both rear arms. That's all you need to take out. All right, so with those four screws removed, the easiest way, if you have one of these mats, um, sometimes they like to get hung up in that plastic and they don't like to come out. Um, try and get them with your screwdriver if it's magnetic. In this case, it's being a little stubborn. None of them want to come out. Um, so in this case, I'm just gonna, there's one. And we're just going to keep playing around with these screws a little bit until I can get them to come out. Um, so it's not looking like they want to come out and this shell is pretty broken. So we're going to go ahead and just remove that. Um, and then so the screws should have fallen out right here. Um, all right, so that was the old top shell. There's a couple of things we're going to want to take from this that don't come on the new top shell. And they're these mesh screens here. Um, the easiest way to do that is get a heat gun, heat them up, and then restick them to your new top shell. So we'll go ahead and go get the heat gun and get ready to do that. So as you can see on the new top shell, there's no mesh guards there. So we're going to go ahead and take the mesh guards from the old one and replace them with that. All right, so now that that tedious, annoying process is over, um, but that is something that the customer will complain about if it's not there. So that is something that we take the time to definitely do. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to put on this new top shell that is not included is your, uh, your, fo your foil for your GPS. This actually just helps with uh, electronic noise. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing heat that up and remove it and stick it to the new top shell. This stuff is super delicate. So um, we usually have rolls of this in the shop, but unfortunately at this time um, we are out of it. So we're gonna reuse the stuff that came on the original top shell. All right, so now we have reinstalled the foil tape to isolate the GPS and that increases your signal strength and just overall um, accuracy of your GPS. So these two things are very important to do along with your screens that way no dirt and debris get into your aircraft. Um, there's some black uh, marker up here or black paint to isolate the LED. Um, we're not going to go ahead and do any of that because there's already a uh, shield installed on the LED. So. The final step is to install our fully assembled top shell with the foil tape and our mesh guards. So to install the top shell, it's really easy. Um, you wanna make sure your battery cover is installed before you go ahead and seat it onto the frame. Um, and to do that, you just kinda snap it into place like that and make sure it opens and closes freely. And so it's pretty much as simple as getting this straight and go ahead and just line it up like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to start with the nose. So start with the nose, work your way around the sides, um, come around here to the side. Doesn't matter left or right, just kind of seat it up properly. 
Um, and then make sure that there's no, in my case, I had a piece of broken frame in there from the last one, so make sure you get that out. Just double check everything. Um, so then we're gonna restart now that we got that broken frame piece out and uh, go ahead and seat everything up. So now that all the plastic is seated together, we can go ahead and take our four frame screws and reinstall them. And so with the mini screws, you don't want to over tighten them. You just want to go snug. You're screwing into very weak plastic here. So if you go too tight, you will strip it. So we've installed the new top shell, replaced the broken one, took all of the good components slash parts off of the old one and now we have a brand new mavic mini 2 or mini 2 ready to go customer will be nice and happy <laughs>